I, yeah. I was able to go above that where it forks the second time yeah. and cut it at the fork because that, that curve might make it crook. Okay. Uh, you see yeah, where it's yeah, all, yeah. and so that will get into a big sort of, Ed will tell you, a big sort of knot of lots of little... What's the, what? It's amazing how far it was going over in the wind at the top. We were zooming. There she's going. Okay, the wind up a little bit. There she goes, quick. Hamburg! Perfect! We did it! We are explosive! It's just okay. to start the safety. So we're inside the sapwood. Sapwood is the inner piece or the outer? Sapwood is the Oh, we, color. On, we want to be it's inside that. In this case, and that's it's the hardwood. darker color because it's wet. Oh, okay. But in actual fact, when you strip it off, it'll be lighter. Color. Okay. You see, you, you see it. Well, the sapwood is practically yeah. gone off. Yeah, mostly you gone here. The, the, yeah. the reason we're getting rid of the sapwood is it has no real strength, relatively speaking. So we're starting a new log here. One side, other side. Oh, you got to get down to the heartwood, of course. Got it, I see. Watch for the color change. It'll give you a break from the big axe as well. Which is, which is so nice. big axe, small axe, big axe, small axe. I mean, you kind of want it maybe a little bit bigger than the width of the axe. I think you're going to like, I don't do this for work. I see the gas. <laughs> After the pit of despair. <laughs> this is joy. This is joy. I can see where the offset blade would be in advantage. Here's the one that Ed did yesterday. And trimmed up even more. Split with a saw. Patrick's moving that one out of the way to set up the weenie one for me. And then, on a few demonstration boards, which have to be obviously cleaned up, we have all these lovely pieces of wood for firewood. So here's Liz working on her first log of the other 30 to go. This, this five-year project may be a little bit longer than five years, but... Come on, Liz, winter's coming. The big axe. Well, we'll see how I do with that. See if I just become a videographer. Or if I actually do something useful. Let me videographer All of them. Four or five, I think. I don't have enough videographers. Um, I know you don't, you don't have too much fine a, a level, just I think because the violence that's involved anyway, it's just... Yeah. The violence that's involved, yeah. Now we're gonna go the other way. Can you do it both ways? No, I get the game. Are you ambifootress? I am ambifootress. I am ambidextrous, but it's not as easy to get in. Today, Ed and me, we, we chop from, from the other side. Oh, but, side? And we can't chop, so maybe just try both sides, see what suits you better. Oh. It's been an excellent day. It has been a lot of enjoyment and getting a chance to learn all of these <laughs> medieval techniques that we read about but never actually had green wood logs to actually practice them on. You're chiseling now with a, what is it called? This is called a slick. A slick.
which is a big it's chisel, like a we chisel understand. Kind of like fine tune and That's right, and it's James's, and he nice, uses it uh, for... Keep it a little square and stuff like that. So. What do you think, James? What, what's your opinion of the day? Yesterday. Better than yesterday? Better than yesterday. <laughs> That's because we're all here. That's yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's because you got, you got two That's timbers just, done now. That's right. We're doing the second roof and the green wood as well. But you know, we, we could have this idea of lots of people working. Many hands make light work, right, dear? Yes, dear. That's right. Here. Yes, dear. Say that yes, again. Dear. Yes, dear. Okay. <laughs> more chiefs. Yeah, we did more <laughs> chiefs. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> okay, signing off now. You're the underdog, you know that, right? Did he tell you that? That's how you do it. You do one side, how do you do the side? Right, that's it. They were. So you fit your tenon in, and you have two holes. You have your holes pre-drilled. Right. And then you put your tenon in, and put your piece in, and you mark the center of the hole on the tenon. You take it back out, and you offset the hole a little bit. Right. So that when you drive the peg down, it pulls it in. So it draws it in from the tension of the, the misaligned holes. Yeah, things like that. What you're doing is you're cutting through the grain. Right. Okay, so the grain it rarely runs perfectly straight. But um, you run straight enough to create a peg. Took them out, so right. Down, something like that. Yeah. So a square peg in a round hole is a legitimate construction yeah. technique. Sure. So much for a square peg, huh? So that's slightly oversized now still. That's great. But then you'd let this dry. There's still some bits that make me nervous. I don't like heights, so I'm hanging on to this rail still. But um, the scaffolding is up, and I'm happy about that, even though I'm still not real happy being out here. Uh, there's our chimney. And again, I'd be happier with probably another plank here, but the reason the plank is not there is because we need these corbels exposed so we can get the roof on. It's more, it's, there we go. How much do you think that weighs? Probably 40, 50 pounds. Oh, okay, okay, I could probably lift it. 150? 150? 400? So Emerson or Tom, what, what, whoever you are, whoever you are, whatever your name is, you are loading up piece number three. This is the next fleet for the, the 
outside edge. Yeah. This is the curve piece. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. still have the other curve piece, the wind brace. You know, that the, the diagonal the one. But I think. The plate. Yeah. The other one was the big concern. All right, you good? This is the bit against the watchtower, right? Which is yeah. why it's uh, got a piece missing. Yeah. It's got the curvy bits to join to. Up and away. Gotten cloudy now. No more blue sky. Step away. The last truss going up to the top. Now, Bevan. Did we uh, did we make these pegs with a machete or the standard way you said, James? How did we end up making these pegs? Oh, that's enough, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to tell? Them. <laughs> okay. I haven't heard James complain yet, anyway. <laughs> Good. So you, you didn't have to chisel any stone away no, or no, no. remove any mortar or anything? I said, I'm sorry, at this stage. I'll let that little he go. How's a plumber's helper? I'm like right there. Liz, will you be sending some photographs to James? Oh yeah. Because I, I meant to bring a camera with me today and I, I left You're, you're a little busy, Bevan. You don't have any time for photos. <laughs> and so is James. James is a little busy too. No time for photos. Well Mick is Mick's the better photographer with the better with the better equipment. <laughs> you have your orders, yes. Just stand there. Are you? What do you guys think about this? We like it. You like it. <laughs> We're just getting out of the way of the drone. No. Oh, the drone. Right. 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 Okay.